Kate Smurthwick and uh, political a activist uh, <laughs> and comedian joins us now, as well as Lionel, legal analyst and media commentator. Thanks both for coming onto the program. Now, Kate, we'll, we'll start with you. We mentioned you. Um, you're a comedian, obviously. Is it ever right to censor a performance? Well, I think that we're, it's kind of misleading here to suggest that, that what has happened in this case is a question of censorship. There are lots of comedy clubs, uh, many of which I play at, that have a behavioural agreement in place. Uh, one of my favourite clubs in London is a place called Quantum Leopard. Uh, I'm, I'm there as often as I possibly can be. And they have a document which they ask comedians to sign, which says, don't be racist, don't be sexist, don't be homophobic. And, you know, the vast majority of comedians go, well, I never would anyway, so it's absolutely trivial for me to sign this document and to be honest if you have to stop and go what you know what they're asking me not to be sexist how could they then maybe it's about time that you sort of thought about the fact that it's 2018 and checked out what your material is I, I find it weird that we're presenting this um, as though somebody's being censored the fact is that by agreeing to come on your show I've agreed not to swear on air and if I didn't want to do that I could have not come on your show and you know your other guests are, b are bound by the same thing the idea that free speech should be about you can say anything whenever you want and there will be absolutely zero consequences to that that's not how it works you can say anything and free speech says you know you won't be imprisoned for that but if every time you see a cup of coffee you shout I hate coffee it's disgusting well you won't be working in a coffee shop next week because much as you might be exercising your free speech in fact you know, your free speech is, is impinging your ability to do your job. Now, I think that there, it's absolutely right to draw some lines about what is and isn't OK uh, at an event like this. I think what is important, and the reason that I was so upset when I was uh, excluded from performing at Goldsmiths, is that we have to be able to have a conversation about what those lines are. And, you know, if he felt, if, if this comedian felt that there was something in this agreement that he wasn't happy with, because, for example, it said, don't criticise the government, and he felt that he really wanted to do that because there's something they're doing that's really immoral. I would absolutely be on his side saying, yeah, of course, you should go and you should be allowed to have a conversation about what is and isn't the right line to draw. Um, but the idea that, that we should never draw any lines, I mean, we, we draw lines all the time. There's an advertising standards body. Films have ratings on them. Every single thing that we broadcast, we have a discussion about what is and isn't the right thing to put on that broadcast. And in this case, they've drawn some rules. Now, they're not the same rules that I would have drawn, but many of them seem fairly reasonable reasonable um, and you know they're their choice of rules I, I think it's fair enough for him to be able to have a conversation about what should or shouldn't be in the rules but the idea of just going there have to be no rules we demand anarchy I mean it, it's just a nonsense I don't believe for a second that what's that's what's happening what I think is happening is that it, it's essentially he's making a fuss as a publicity stunt because he thinks he can get a little bit of mileage out. Li Lionel I'm gonna uh, bring in Lionel and if we broaden the discussion about censorship in general because we, you know we've we've this debate is it's a hot issue isn't it you know, what is censorship? Should people uh, be uh, restricted with their freedom of speech? And I ask you, Lionel, if you were uh, having to sign a piece of paper um, restricting your views and the, your freedom of speech, would you do it? Well, the first rule I wish we would allow here, perhaps, now to consider, is brevity in answering the question. But I digress. Look, I want there to be more rules like this. I want there to be rules that say you can't say anything as a comic that hurts anybody's feelings. You can't say anything that could, and I'm, I'm for this, I, because I want there to be absolutely no speech ever that discusses anything ever that could in any way ever insult, impugn, make offensive, or, 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 or hurt people's feelings, because I want this insanity, not the thought police, but the thought vigilantes, because this is being imposed by citizens. I want it to just, just, just implode under its own weight. This is ridiculous. Now, let me explain what the problem is. Imagine if I came on RT and uh, my colleague here in entertainment comes on and you say, uh, do not talk about this subject, do not mention the word Putin, Kremlin, United States, Trump, we would say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, hold it. We wouldn't say, well, those are the rules. It's like yelling fire in a crowded theater or coffee in a coffee shop. We would say, wait a minute, you're, you're limiting what I'm saying. But when you're a comedian and by virtue of what you're doing, 
the subject matter must be piquant, it must abrade, it must, in the spirit of Lenny Bruce and Mort Saul and Dick Gregory, my God, and the people who are the most compliant, the people who are going to end up destroying their own industry are the comedians who sit back and say, well, I think it's only fair that I don't want to say anything that could in any way hurt anybody's feelings. Oh my God, you keep this up and you're going to be out of a career. I've done stand-up comedy for 25 years. And what makes it fun and exciting and peak it is when you make people upset. You know what their view is or their re 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 retort? Walk out, leave, ask for your money back. What's the matter with us? We used to be tough. We're becoming a bunch of little snowflake trigger, uh, trigger uh, warning then, then hurt and hurt. And it, it's, listen to what we're talking about. A comedian, and by the way, if there was no rules there, what the heck was he being asked to sign? Listen to what's happening. This isn't the government ruining us. We are losing our sense of humor. We are losing our guts and our spine. We're losing who we are. We're losing our personality. So keep it up, comics. Keep it up. You'll be out of a job in six months. Kate, are you losing your personality as a comedian by signing these agreements? Uh, no, not at all. In fact, there was absolutely a point where I'd go, oh, I won't play that club because I don't want to be a part of it. But I find the opposite problem is that so often I'm expected to play clubs, um, you know, where there are other acts on the bill that are doing, you know, horrific material about sexual violence and things like that. And it creates an atmosphere that I'm not having a great time. I'm not able to relax properly and nor is the audience. And if I'm not relaxed, then the audience will feel that. And if the audience isn't relaxed, then I'll feel, then I'll feel that. And it's not that these people should be banned from saying these words. It's that when you curate an event, you can make your own decision about what is and isn't OK. And there are absolutely things, I'm sure, um, that you wouldn't allow me to say on air. I know there are. And, you know, and Lionel the same. And so by coming on air, of course, we've agreed not to say those things. I'm not really sure what Lionel's point was. Um, he's had an extensive career, and I congratulate him on that. I'm sorry I've not come across him before. But um, it's... Uh, you know, it's down to every comedian to decide what kind of stuff they want to do. And if that means that they don't want to play, you know, there are shows that I know where the comedians perform to children. And of course, when you perform a show for children, there are all kinds of subjects that you don't go near because it's a children's show. And it, personally, I don't do those shows because I don't write the kind of material that suits those events. And so I don't put myself forward. We're for not them. talking it's about It's not that. a question of... Uh, well, we, you know, we, we absolutely are. We're, We're talking, talking about whether we should draw lines. Nobody, nobody. Um, no, we're not. No, no, no. you're but, talking uh, about coffee yes. shops, you're talking about children. They asked me, for example, you don't want me to speak Italian right now. I understand that. You don't want me to give you a fusillade of F-bombs. I understand that. That's a given. What's happening right now right. is... And, we don't, and, and this club doesn't want people to be racist. How is that... How is that different, Lionel? I mean, you know, okay, they don't want you to swear fine. or speak Italian. Because and this club what is, is racist? looking people to not Because do... you can't define racist. You can't define yeah, it. Yeah, it's a word. You can't just say, use a dictionary. Is, we love, no, we can't. No, no, yeah, yeah, it's you, not well, Apple Maybe you Dick, can't read a dictionary, Lionel, but that white, says more about fun. you than the rest of us. Absolutely. Oh, maybe you can't read it. Please stop it. You know what we're talking about. Racism peeking to me. If you're hypersensitive, you go, oh, racism, but that's not racist. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. So if you say, don't say anything homophobic, don't say anything that in any way is sexually gratuitous, what does that mean? Look it up in a dictionary. I'm not asking what the word racist means. I'm talking about the contextual application of it. And you well, should be scared out of your it. mind Talk that to your people who have a industry, better understanding of that it than your yourself. industry, I can see you one day. Wait a minute. You've got a great career. Here she is, politically correct comic. Come on in, and I guarantee you, you will not be offended, I, you will not be in any way abraded, and you will not be entertained or amused. Absolutely nothing at all dangerous about my well, act. I, I, Kids I, can listen I, to I've it. Hey, I want to go see that one, don't you? Years, and nobody's ever come to my show and said, I enjoyed it, but could you please Funny, be more I've never racist? heard of you. So it's not really a problem. Can I, can I jump in here? It isn't the Nobody's question... Kate, that. Kate, let me, let me ask you. Yes. Who, I mean, the, the point is, in this um, discussion, is who is responsible for making these rules? Who is responsible for the freedom of speech and, and what should be involved in that and, and the censoring as well? And, you know, in, in this particular case, obviously it hasn't gone ahead, but there are other cases where, you know, there have been unreasonable restrictions, some might argue. 
Yeah, I mean, I absolutely felt when I was uh, prohibited from performing at Goldsmiths, I felt that that was unfair and I, I spoke out and said as much. And I, but I do think that the answer is that everybody is entitled to an opinion. You know, here's my radical opinion. I think we're entitled to free speech. I think they're entitled to say, this is what we think the rules should be. And I think everybody else who's involved in that should be entitled to agree, to disagree, to say, well, actually, I would like it changed to this. Or there's something you haven't mentioned that I find to be quite problematic. I think that, you know, we know that there are always going to be uh, limits in society about what is and isn't okay to be said in certain forums and in certain platforms and that's absolutely fine all we have to do is make sure that the conversation stays open so that people can step into it and say well actually I think this is okay and actually you know what we used to say this all the time but when we look back at it it doesn't seem like a great idea you There's know no just seen in here. the UK the uh... yeah. so I missed that Lionel no, no, but, but the reason I'm is, holding my ear is because the circuitous. earpiece is made the not point. fitting properly. Yeah, go on. Fine. This is being circuitous. You're, 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 you're saying I mean, the I same could, thing could let over go and over and I again be able that to there you. should be rules. He, here's, well, here's of course, you're, problem, but you're though. adhering to the rules the right now issue. because you're not swearing, so... We're losing. No, no, you're 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 being so pedantic and priggish about the rules and looking it up in the dictionary. That's not the issue. The bigger issue is that instead of us saying, "Wait a minute, what rules? Wait a minute, why can't they speak?" No, we're saying, "Excuse me, why aren't you abiding by the rules?" Look at how we're giving in. Our first thing is, "Oh, don't break the rules." Instead of saying, "Wait a minute, he's a comic." Is this over 18? What kind of a club is this? I'm sorry, but life's tough. You can walk out on the street and hear things that are a hundred times worse than this. It's this attitude that we're hearing little by little. Sure, but I don't have to let you into saying, my house well, of course, to I don't shout like this, Of course, do you I? have the right not to be offended. Okay, guys, I, but I, don't I have think to let you in my house you're to talking shout like again this, about so Kate Lionel. We're not talking about that. Kate Lionel. Thank you so much. I'm thank gonna you, let go of this both of you. Yeah, I hope you. <laughs> yes. Uh, hope thank I you, but you. thank you so much. I think you offended Did each I other. Offend you? Um, but we will leave it there, Lionel. Okay, Kate Smith, uh, political Did athletist and comedian, you? Lionel, legal. You can I'm stop sorry. now, Lionel. Analyst and media commentator. I didn't thank mean you both.